Hello from Belfast. It is probably about 10.30 in the morning. We were due to land about an hour and a half ago. Um, we've just landed and we are on our way to try and find out where we are picking up our rental car from. And then we're heading straight to the Giant's Causeway. We've been there before. I absolutely love this place, but we're not actually staying in Belfast um, tonight and tomorrow night. I will fill you in on our plans as and when we figure out what we're doing. But first of all, we need to pick up the hire car. I cannot tell you how nice it is to get on the flight, land and not go through passport control. It just feels like such a treat. And because we just came with like rucksacks, um, hand luggage, we don't even have to wait around for bags. So we're pretty much good to go. We're a bit lost, asking for help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. That guy was so nice. I always forget how much I love the Irish. I'm obsessed. I've been here for like four minutes. He literally left his place of work, Jas, which was W. Huh? Smith. Jas just asked him where this, um, where it's six to car rental. And he was like, I think it's outside. And he walked out of the airport building <laughs> halfway to the place and like made sure we knew where we were going. Um, oh, love the Irish. I'm going to be gushing a lot about how obsessed I am with the accent so here's your warning now but we're walking through the car park exit. Just a quick tip if you rent a car from this place don't try and walk through the car park like we did because there's a barrier <laughs> you need to walk around the outside. So they do actually direct you to your rental um. information? To check. I think I mentioned earlier that I've got a new camera and I'm not loving it so far. This is the first time I'm testing it out. So please do let me know in the comments if my voice is clearer, if you can see all the lines and wrinkles more on my face um, compared to my previous vlogs. I've got a feeling you probably can. Um, but we've just been advised to not go to the Giant's Causeway today because the Northwest 200, which is a world famous motorcycle show, is on all week. And apparently lots of roads are closed but I think we're still going to attempt it anyway because it is such a nice day it's about 20 or 21 degrees um, which is unheard of in the UK <laughs> especially at this time of year um, and I just think it'll be so much nicer like we, went, we have been there before it was in February March time and it was very wintry and cold and kind of dark I think this would be really nice to see in a different light so Jas is just downloading like Google Maps offline um, because reception around here is not very good, just in case. Oh, are you done? Yep. Okay. This guy paid for a Fiat 500 and the guy in the car rental place was like, who booked the car? And I was like, it wouldn't have been me because I would never pay for a Fiat 500, but we got an upgrade because they've run out of little cars. So we have a Kia something. It's still quite little, but like it's not. Let me flip the screen, hold on. Here we go. This is our cute little red car, at least yeah. we won't lose it because it's red. <laughs> you might find me repeating myself quite a lot in this vlog and I will try and cut as much of it out as possible because like I said, I'm trying to get used to my new camera and this is the first time I'm properly using it. So far, I'm not a fan. Um, and I, I can't really see the clips <laughs> to see what it looks like, but we've been given an old school map. Um, I love this, I, mean, I can't read a map, but like, I like to just see where we're headed. So he, so when you go from Belfast to the Giant's Causeway, there are two routes to take, and I already know this. There's the coastal route, which is scenic, and there's just the motorways, which is faster. Last time we took the coastal route, and it was stunning. We stopped off in so many places, actually. It was so, so nice. So we definitely want to do that again. And but Jas is the driver. I'm not allowed to drive because it's ridiculous insuring two people. It's not the end of the world. One thing that I love about Ireland, especially in the north um, and in the Republic, depending on where you go, not Dublin, there's just never much traffic. And obviously it is absolutely stunning. Like there's just rolling green hills and beautiful scenery everywhere that you look, which has now disappeared from view as I've pulled out the camera. A guy at the car hire place said to us to navigate on the sat nav to a place called Lani or Lana. I don't know how it's pronounced but it's L-A-R-N-E and we've just arrived here and then you can you're basically on the edge of Ireland right so you're driving along the coast we're not yet <laughs> but we will be soon oh wow okay oh, let me flip one. it and show you we did walk down there yeah. didn't we I've got, well, I've got a picture of me posing over there remember a long time ago I think it might not have been there though Hold it looks on. like similar 
Well, I think it's. I feel like this is one of those um, stops in the road where it's really stunning to like see in person, but I'm not sure that it's really picking up on camera. And for me personally, I just love being by or in water so much. And it is such a lovely day. Like I'm just wearing a t-shirt. It's so nice and warm. I'm gonna try and get down there if I can, if her steps are bleeding down there. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. to another stop off point and this is so cute they've got a wee sauna and people actually sit there in their like bathing suits and stuff it's so cute it's definitely a little bit chillier when you're right on the coast but we found this um like stop off point in bally galley that's what it's called and it is stunning and like loads of people are like in their diving suits swimwear there's a little sauna people going swimming in the sea there's a lifeguard paddle boarding like oh my god this is like an amazing place to stay there's also some valley galley holiday apartments four star across the road i want to come back and stay here next time just look how cool they look just back there behind me it's so so stunning we're not even at the giant's causeway yet and this is what i mean about the coastal route there's just so much to see and do on the way it's all about the journey it's not about the end destination here it's just stunning yeah what a beautiful day to be here this guy thinks he's a hero he's just climbed all the way around these rocks but from here and he was stood on that one in the far end as well first We've just stopped here for some lunch. We're at a place called Harbour Lights Cafe and we've managed to grab a table outside, which is so nice. It's a little bit chilly here though, but the view is stunning. Just ordered lunch. I don't have high hopes for this, but they don't really have anything vegetarian. So she swapped the tuna or the prawn for cheese and beans for me for a jacket potato, which is quite nice. I mean it was okay they didn't really have any veggie options but to be honest I don't really expect that when you're not in a city in Ireland because I feel like most people just eat a lot of meat and potatoes they had jacket potatoes on the menu she gave me cheese and beans which is like one of my favorite meals anyway but it was fine it wasn't we're just really hungry because it's like 2 p.m. now and um, we still haven't made it to Giants Causeway we haven't eaten since 5 a.m. but we're at this harbour hence the name of the cafe in the background the blue building I'll show you the view because it's really pretty here's the harbour I actually feel like we've been here before so last time we were in Belfast I didn't actually vlog it um, I was here for quite a long time just traveling around Ireland but I don't have any vlogs of that I've just got a lot of vlog content but everywhere you look it is just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and I feel like I have a photo of that particular boat on my blog <laughs> this is giving me um, a bit of deja vu Look at these little sheep, they're so cute. Is this someone's private land? I'm not entirely sure. But they're so cute. Oh, they're all coming this way, they're following like sheep. Right, we've made it to the Giants Causeway. It only took us about four hours. We just missed the last entry for the car park, which is 4 p.m. because it is now 4.30.
Wow, look at this. I do remember this place now. Look at how stunning this is. It's absolutely breathtaking. how windy it is today. My hair is just doing its own thing, going wild. But I love it. Oh, it's really warm. Some people are wearing like woolly hats and like big coats. The sun is setting um, at Giant's Causeway and it is so nice. We're now heading back. It's quite a long walk actually, but I have seen that there's a bus I think you can take, but I don't really know. I guess that's if you have accessibility issues. Somebody also got uh, dropped off in a taxi as well, so that's something to bear in mind. Good morning from the Waterfoot Hotel in Derry. It's actually not even morning. It is definitely afternoon, um, probably approaching lunchtime. It's just gone midday. Jas and I have just left our hotel and we're going to go and find some food and then explore Derry. We only really have half a day at this point. We've never been to Derry before. We want to explore as much as possible. We were just so shattered from yesterday that we had a major lie-in this morning and it was much needed. So we are on our way to find some food and then we, I want to walk the city walls, go to the Peace Bridge, do the bog side walking tour to see all the history, see the Derry Girls wall mural, which I still haven't actually finished watching Derry Girls, so I didn't want to book onto the tour for that because it seems a bit pointless when you haven't actually watched something on TV. But I do want to learn more about the history. Um, and things like that I just feel like there might not be a tour running we might have missed the day sorry the time for that so fingers crossed it all works out we haven't got that long here which is a bit of a shame but it's a nice day for now it might rain later we're not prepared for that but come with us to go and explore and find some food first and a coffee so we've just parked up in Ebrington Square which is actually somewhere that we drove past last night on our way back from dinner and we're trying to find our way out of here and walk towards the peak Bridge. Last night we went out for the most amazing dinner I have had in a long time. I am going to insert some clips actually of the food. We went to um, a Southeast Asian restaurant called Mekong and the food was insane but keep an eye out on the blog for that because I didn't really vlog it and it was just so so good. I need to tell everyone I know about it. <laughs> about to rain which is just great it definitely looks like it's going to rain um, and that was a really long walk uphill once we crossed the river but oh, I just love this but I can't stop talking about how much I love this place we've come to um, a cafe called hidden cafe is it yeah hidden um, cafe um, off the no, side he, street hidden city cafe everyone in here it's just so nice. I can't even. They just strike up conversations with you out of nowhere. They've got loads of like vegan options and vegetarian options on the menu. So we're having brunch, I would say. It's not breakfast, but they do do an all-day breakfast menu. Um, and we're sat outside, which is a bit optimistic, but it's really warm. It is um, 20 degrees, but it is spitting a little bit, and it's a little bit worrying. Yeah. I'm surprised you want to sit outside. <laughs> I know, but I will move inside if it starts raining. It's just really, really warm and it's such a nice day to actually sit outside. So I've ordered a seitan teriyaki wrap with a side portion of chips. This looks and smells so good. What did you get? I went for the um, 
Chicken sandwich, I think it was. <laughs> massive thunderstorm um, so we sat in the restaurant for a lot longer than intended but it's properly chucking it down and now I don't know what we're gonna do we might do a taxi tour instead of a walking tour because we're not prepared for this weather whatsoever um, it's a little bit chilly as well you're not cold and short I'm okay um, I did want to walk the city walls but I don't know let's see if we can find a cheap umbrella actually We've just been walking around, um, trying to avoid the rain, popped into a few shops and we just stumbled upon the infamous Derry Girls uh, mural outside a shopping centre. I don't know if you can see it behind my head, but I'm going to insert a clip here. Um, it's, it's massive. Oh my god guys, look at the rain. We were just about to do a walking tour and it's just not going to happen, is it? It's actually really bad. We are currently hiding under some of the arches for the city walls. Oh, we picked up a couple of uh, cheap umbrellas from Poundland. Not a pound, might I add. <laughs> they were two pounds each. But we're now walking the city walls. Finally, um, it is not as. Stu oh my God! Look at the view. Hold on. The view from here is absolutely stunning. <laughs> <laughs> oh she slipped. Okay. This is a restaurant where we had dinner last night and I cannot explain to you just how excellent their Southeast Asian food is. But now we're gonna continue our walk. Look at the beautiful murals on the walls here. There's a lot of that in Derry. So I believe this is Guildhall. Um, there's the Tower Museum just here. Ah, oh, look at the church bells. And that over there in the distance is actually where we parked all the way across the river. Wow, oh, this rain has really not done my hair any favours. <laughs> we just came back to the hotel for a little bit just to escape the rain because it was torrential and Jess was wearing shorts so he needed to change out and put some jeans on. But we're now heading back out. We couldn't do a walking tour today because of the weather. Um, so we're actually going to drive around and just try and have a look at some of the murals. Um, like the Free Dairy one and there's I think there's eight in total um, in the bog side. Is that what it's called, Jess? Yes. Yeah, at the bog side. Um, that's our plan, and then we're gonna go and find somewhere for dinner. This weather is so bad. It is such a contrast to yesterday when it was so warm and so sunny. I think I actually tanned, and now this is the worst weather to go driving around Derry looking and photographing murals. There we go. That's the um, infamous mural straight in the distance. I'll walk there now and you grab my umbrella first because it started raining again, but there we go. Umbrella secured. We're now on our own walking tour. It looks like there's some sort of tour guide over there, you know. I'm going to see if we can, like, join a tour because I really want to learn more about the history. Right, so I'm armed with a little bit of insider knowledge after asking a man that was giving a tour, but this um, is a mural of Bloody Sunday. This group of men um, who are led by a local priest are carrying the body of Jackie Duddy, who was the first fatality of the day on Bloody Sunday. Now this mural is actually quite famous, it's called the Petrol Bomber and if you've seen any photos of Derry before you've probably actually seen this. So this is a mural of a young boy um, in a gas mask who's holding a petrol bomb made from a milk bottle as you can see and I think this was in 1969. This is Bernadette Michalski um, addressing the crowds in the bog side and she was actually later elected to Parliament um, when she was 21 years old. Now this mural is called Death of Innocence. Um, it's of a 14 year old girl called Annette who was actually killed in the crossfire near her house in 1971. She was the hundredth victim but she represents one of 3,000 people who died during the Troubles. Now this is actually a really famous mural as well and it's a commemoration to Bloody Sunday. It's portraits of the 14 people who were killed on that day. The mural on the left is called Operation Motorman and it's from 1972 when the British Army moved into the area and removed the barricades, hence Free Derry. And on the right, this is a young boy running after tear gas has been fired and it's called The Runner. Absolutely, I might add. 
This mural is titled Civil Rights and it's the early marches that were inspired by the campaigns of Martin Luther King and they're all about peaceful demonstrations. We've walked quite a way up now um, and we see some more murals but I don't actually know what they're all about because I've lost the tour guide man <laughs> that was telling me but these look like um, memorials to the people that died. Yes they are because there's actually one, two, three, four, Seven. Yeah, 14 names and 14 people died on Bloody Sunday. It actually looks like a memorial for all the children that died. It's really sad. Um, there's quite a few sort of stones and a few toys and things like that. But in loving memory of... Um, and one of the benches, it says, How can you shoot an 11-year-old unarmed and defenceless boy? interestingly just from this area I don't know if you'll be able to make out you can see the city walls all around Derry morning I have absolutely no idea what my hair is doing the weather has been so miserable here in Derry and it is still raining I've just come out onto this balcony from the restaurant um, Jas and I have been working here all morning it's a shame that the weather's been so bad because yesterday was kind of our only full day to explore we did as much as we could despite the rain um, it's also really really cold we're spending today working it's Monday so we're gonna try and drive to Antrim in a little bit I've booked a table for Jas's birthday at a restaurant that we went to last time we were in Belfast and absolutely loved um, it's gonna be very tight time Timing though because it's an hour and a half drive from here to Belfast so we're gonna drive halfway during lunchtime in Antrim which is a town that has a Starbucks because there's just a lot of like villagey type places here work from there for the afternoon and then make our way back to Belfast when Jas finishes work that's the plan We have just spent all afternoon working at this Starbucks. It's now almost 5.30 p.m. and we're on our way to Belfast, which is about 30 minutes away. We've just checked in to such a nice hotel. It's called Room 2 Tell in Belfast city centre. It's a bit of a nightmare getting here. Parking is a bit of an issue, but let me flip the camera around and show you this room. I knew it'd be nice. I didn't think it'd be this nice though. Look at this table. Like, it's so nice. Um, I love these chairs. There's a fridge. I've just taken my shoes off. Um, look at these bedside tables. I love the decor of this place so, so much. Um, there's a nice little mirror. A little cupboard with um, an ironing board, space to hang your stuff, a safe. And then, if you flip around, <laughs> look at this little snug. It's like a little sofa and everything. It is so so nice i think this is a bin it says zero waste oh yeah it's a dustbin oh my god that is so cool you can recycle food waste general waste look at how nice and art deco that um headboard is as well i think it's heart shaped and the wall lights are really nice oh my god the bathroom is so nice it's huge like i love these tiles look at these wall lights they're just so nice and there's a gigantic shower this makes such a big difference in comparison to the hotel we've just stayed at in derry um this has me written all over it so yeah really really happy with this hotel it's a shame we're only here for one night and also a shame that the weather's really crap, but it's a nice place just to hang out. <laughs> Guys, we ordered some Jowsy dumplings, which looks so good. They came recommended. And the Cancun, I think, tofu, which comes in a basket, pop It looks really good. Um, I'm also a bit tipsy and I've only had half a glass of Prosecco, but I'm a cheap date, aren't I, Jess? Yeah. No, not a cheap date at all. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm the worst. Okay, so this is called the JFK. It's the Jumon fried cauliflower. Even though cauliflower starts with a C, not a K. And this is the um, KFB, which is the Korean fried broccoli. That looks insane, Jess. Oh my god. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now Nishi is drunk. Oh, 
How much glass did you have? I, 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 my eyes are blurry when I look at the lens. I slept like an actual baby yesterday. You don't understand how comfortable these beds are. This hotel is so, so nice. It's such a shame that we're only here for one night. I would have loved to stay here for longer, but it is very pricey um, and I can totally see why. The great thing is their checkout time is 2 p.m. Um, the weather is still miserable. Like it's so cold and just wet. And the umbrellas that we bought from Poundland are just not cutting it. They keep turning inside out in the wind. I do want to walk around Belfast a little bit and explore, but St George's Market, I think it's called, is closed. It only opens on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I've actually never been there before. Um, the Titanic Belfast is too long of a walk, and plus it is £25 to get in. I don't know if that's worth it just for me to go on my own for a couple of hours. Um, but everything else in Belfast I've kind of done on my last trip here I really enjoyed the Black Cab City tours um, where they take you around all the various uh, neighbourhoods in Belfast like Shank Hill Road I think you see all the, the divide between the Catholics and the Protestants and that was really really interesting and I would actually love to do that again but because Jas is working it seems a bit pointless like for one person to do it on their own when it costs the same for two. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, sit in the lobby and do some work with Jas and then when the rain dies down a little bit, I'm gonna go out for a walk so I will take you with me. I've just come out for some lunch at Bouge and Burrito. We have actually been here before, but I don't really remember it. Um, I think it's changed, they've maybe renovated it, but I've just seen that they do um, a vegan plant-based pork on the menu, which is very exciting. So we got uh, burrito bowls, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, what did you get, chicken? Chicken, yeah. I got the uh, plant-based pork with the naga chilli sauce, which I feel like will be super spicy because it had three chilies next to it. This is the restaurant that we're in. Here we go, here's the Crown Liquor Saloon. It is so nice in here. We're not actually going for a drink though because um, it's lunchtime, <laughs> but I'll take you inside and show you. The Europa Hotel which is the most bombed hotel in Europe if I remember correctly um, from the um, Black Cab tours that we did in Belfast and now we are headed this way oh and this is the um, Grand Opera House as well on the left such a nice building I walked around Belfast for a little bit this afternoon because actually the sun has now come out after what 48 hours of like heavy rain. Ireland in the sun is just so so beautiful. Um, it's just you just have to be lucky with the weather I guess. A lady we met in Derry said the only thing that lets our country down is the weather and I totally agree. But anyway, let's drop the car off to the car rental place and we're walking to the airport. This trip has come to an end, four days of like pure bliss. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Please let me know what you think of my new camera down below in the comments because it's the first time I'm using it. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.